Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and in this video, we are going to be having a look at B-Gamer's new mud truck mod, the F-350 Diesel Mega Mud Truck. Now, this thing is going to be really fun to drive, and not only that, but I'm sure that you guys can notice in the background that it is not the Yukon background. It is actually, in fact, the new Phase 3 background, and, but enough about that, enough about that. Back to the F-350 Diesel Mega Truck. This thing is on 54-inch mud tires, running a 7.3 power stroke with... A, with with blue underglow so this is gonna be a really really interesting one um the interior model is by john's garage and the sounds are by nicholas 5252 so with that being said let's go ahead and jump into a mud park map and see what this thing can do so in the interest of testing it out on a proper mud based map we took it out to west georgia mud park which you guys know very well at this point and this is my first time seeing this truck outside, and I really, really love the setup on it. Look at the axles, the suspension, the sway bars, the, like, the coilovers, the independent reservoirs. It's just so, so crazy. Look at the steering system. Look at the trusses on the axles. Everything looks so incredibly strong that I feel like you could throw this truck at just about anything, and it would be fine with it. It would be absolutely fine with it. Now, you've got this gigantic stack in the bed, and what's really cool about it is it actually has basically a 7.3 power stroke sound on it, and when we fire it up, you guys will get to hear what I'm talking about. Now, this interior is quite interesting, and those of you that like to use the interior view will definitely have something, uh, just something to look at here. You know, I mean, it's not necessarily, like, the craziest interior in the world, but at the same time, I don't really see myself using this thing on the interior view too much, so let's go ahead and fire it up and see how it sounds. It sounds really, really good. Really good. It's got a proper turbo sound. That's so sick. Dude, it leans like a mud truck, though. It really does. Holy smokes. All right, let's take it to the garage and do a little bit of customization on it. Now... Let's also refresh the afternoon there so we can see this thing in a proper light. God. All right. Definitely time to take this thing into the garage. So, we have one engine, 7.3 turbo diesel. And we have one gearbox. And we have suspension. Let's see. 22-inch um, travel coilover shocks. 22-inch travel coilover shocks. I don't know if that's active or not, but it positions the truck a heck of a lot lower. So, let's see. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. You have 39s, which are basically, they would be your sort of hauling tires. You have the 60-inch uh, paddy tires, and then you have the 63-inch tractor tires, which are a little bit wider. And then you have the 47-inch boggers, which I believe those are probably designed to be used with these. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. So let's go back to the paddy tires. And now, Winch, you get, you just get, you just get one, really. And then you can do dual stacks, which comes with, well, basically the same amount of the same amount of repair parts, spare wheels, and fuel. And then you have a couple of different wheel options. So you have, ooh, let's do the DD Patty Chrome Rim. And then that's about it. That's about all that you have. Now the chrome wheels do look pretty freaking sick. And you can actually see the level of detail that's gone into them. It does look really, really good. And this thing, you know, this thing looks proper with the dual stacks. I mean, I know that there are some people that would probably think the dual stacks are a little bit, like, a little bit cheesy or something. But you know what? It it fits the idea and the attitude of the truck. It really does. It really, really, really does. Let's hit some mud and see what this thing can do out there. Whoa! I'm also really curious to see how, how fast this thing is. Now, it is only a three-speed in automatic mode, but you gotta remember that this thing is, like I said, a dedicated mud truck, and this is, well, that's third gear. High range is not fast, although high range should be usable in the mud at that speed. So let's see what it does. We just send it off the jump! Not quite enough speed, but guess what? I mean, it's... Oh, well, I, I almost spoke too soon there. I was gonna say it's plenty tall enough to make it through here. It's, uh... It's not. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's not plenty tall enough to make it through there. Let's also see what the underglow looks like. Whoa, whoa look at the lighting. That. Whoa! When you turn the lights on, that's so wild. Okay, the lighting is insane. The lighting in the grill, the headlights, the mirrors, and the underglow specifically. 
That is wild. That is so cool. That is so sick looking. I, wow, I cannot get over the level of detail that goes into that. That's nuts. Okay, now let's go to an actual mud-based area because our first adventure did not pan out the way I thought it would. I'm just gonna go ahead and take a quick, whoa. It does slide a lot. That's another thing that I'm noticing about it is that it slides a lot, but it makes it, it, makes it fun to drive. Even at slow speeds, it slides. Look at that. You can do like these little drifts with it. It's really fun, actually. And I'm sure that there's somebody out there that's going to be like, that's not a drift. And I'm like, you know what? I mean, it slides the back end around. It's, it's fun. It's genuinely fun. It does look sick as well, like just kind of making its way around the map. Now, we're going to plunge it into the main mud area up here, the main mud section, and see how it does in terms of just like straight up mud bogging. And it should do very well even in high range, because while high range is technically slow on solid ground, it shouldn't be all that slow in the mud. It should actually be really well tuned for the mud. I mean, B-Gamer's trucks are always really well tuned for mud, in my opinion. So let's try this first little mud pit area and see how she does. Throw it in. Dude, that's like perfectly tuned. To run high range in the mud, that is absolutely just perfectly tuned for that. I don't really think that there's anything else that is that well-tuned for mud use. Oh my god. And I mean, you have people in the community that make hauling-based trucks. You have people in the community that make, you know, like highway-based trucks. You have people that make rock crawlers. You have people that make mud trucks. And B-Gamer really is, I mean, ever since the days of Mud Runner, B-Gamer is one of the dedicated mud truck guys. And it really shows in, in terms of the quality of the tuning that he puts into these machines. Really, really top-notch work. And you can just leave it in automatic mode, leave it in third, and it just goes, man. It puts the power down really, really well. It doesn't feel like it's going to shift out of third on you. And it's super well balanced, too. I mean, that's flat out in third gear, and it makes that turn perfectly easily. Perfectly easily. Look at that. Just gets right through. Let's see if we can dive through some of this and stay in third. Oh, nope. Let's throw the lockers on and... Did we get it stuck? Low minus, it makes it, but it's really slow. You gotta be on top of it. Right about there, you can go up to standard low. It's moving just a little bit, just a little bit. I'm sure it'll make it out of there, but that is definitely challenging for it. But honestly, I think he's done a really good job at finding that sort of, you know, realism level that people would be looking for in a truck like this. I really think he has, and I think he's done a wonderful job at finding that balance of fun and realism. Because it's always that interesting, like, back and forth on, like, you know, what are we going to prioritize, fun or realism? And I think this truck does a brilliant job of prioritizing both. And, and really, you don't see that as often as, frankly, I would like to. But, now granted, that's not to say that ultra-realistic trucks can't be fun. It just depends on what kind of fun you're looking for at the time. So let's plunge through here real quick. Let's see if it'll stay in third through there. It should. I was going to say, there's no reason why it shouldn't stay in third through there. Yo, that's pretty sick. Look over there. That's awesome. I haven't been back to this map ever since there's a couple of updates on it, and it's really cool to see, you know, like, the updates that he's added. Ooh, let's run it on the racetrack. Although, I don't feel like it's necessarily designed for the racetrack, but you never know. It could actually be really well balanced for it, and considering the fact that it does handle really, really well, especially for how tall it is, it might actually put down some decent laps. I'm not even going to stop. I'm just going to run straight into it. I'm going to run straight into the track and see how it reacts. Let's go! Just as if we rolled onto the, the main straight right off the bat, so not going to necessarily get all that much air off the jumps. It, it is a little slow. When you get it into a racetrack environment, it is a little slow. But again, that's not necessarily what it was designed for. I just kind of want to see if I take it out of its element a little bit, see how it'll do. What? <laughs> I mean, again, like I said before, you can keep it in third and be flat out everywhere and it will be absolutely no problem. This is more designed for trophy trucks, obviously, but again, you can take a mud truck out here and have a blast doing it. And this one, you really never have to be concerned that you're going to flip it because the center of gravity is really, really well set up. Really well set up. 
Let's see how it does through this main stretch that's got a little bit of mud on it. It should be great. A little bit of a jump there, but again, you know, the jumps that this thing is able to do are going to usually be about, you know, realistic level, realistic height. And I do love the fact as well that he went and grabbed some... Whoa! Oh my god, it got right up on two wheels there. Let's run it across the line and... Oh, come on, almost there. Boom! Not bad at all. Well, if you guys enjoyed this test of B Gamer's new mud truck, then make sure you let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys next time.